Hello, we are rolling the film on 2015's The Big Short. Um, I'm Brian, joined by Kevin and um, Isaac here. What's going on? Hello, everyone. We're sorry that we are uploading an episode on Wednesday, but we had some um, last minute interruptions last night. We were trying to figure out a new schedule. The summer is coming to an end, as we all know, and we are all going to have classes soon. We're all full time. Uh, I don't know about that. What, how many units uh, are you taking? I'm taking nine, I think. Come no, I'm taking, ten. I'm taking Isn't ten. Isn't that full time? No, twelve is full, 12 time. Is full time. I thought it was eight on ours, right? <laughs> eight is summer. Uh, no, I think it's six. Summer is full time. I'm taking like ten though. Dang. Can play, bro. You can can play. Just give up on life, dude. Uh, thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna try and reschedule everything. Um, please remember that Big Short is on Netflix. So if you like our or like a review or you want to get your own take on it you can spoiler go check it out spoiler alert spoiler alert yes we, we always discuss spoilers if you're new to the podcast we go heavy into plot and other things yeah alright so initial thoughts did we like the movie let's start with Isaac why do I always start okay Brian it was pretty good it was pretty good why'd you like it um I think the whole context of it so during the big uh that whole um, the, big short? the bubble, <laughs> the bubble, the, the bubble uh, burst, the, the bubble burst. Yeah, the housing. Yeah, the housing bubble. So, you see how everyone's like, in the in the banking industry was telling people that not to worry about the mortgage industry. It's like, don't worry, it's not, it hasn't failed. So why are you, why are you betting against it, kind of thing. So that was pretty interesting seeing that like, that whole side of it. How about you, Kevin? How did you feel about this? You know, I'm not. I study films. Uh, I oh really? At school, oh. but I don't watch many movies. Like I just oh you, oh I didn't wait. Know. But you study film. I, I study didn't know film. You, I didn't know you were a film major. Yeah, so I just I don't. Oh. Isaac told me, told us, hey, we should watch this movie. I think this was Brian's pick, though. Brian, I think this was yeah. Brian's pick. So, and then I was like, yeah, for sure, we'll watch it. Yeah. You know, I didn't. I didn't. I'm just not an enthusiastic guy. So, but I, as soon as it started, I, it caught my attention. It was pretty fast paced, which isn't always my thing. But I think it it kept my attention the whole time, and I think it dealt with a difficult subject matter. Um, in the fact that it doesn't sound interesting at all. Like Brian's yeah. describing it, and I'm almost falling asleep. Yeah. So I thought that was pretty impressive. What did you think, Isaac? Yeah, I liked it a lot. I thought it was really good. Um. I really like the casting. I like the cast a lot. I liked, um, I like how they, ex- like, dumbed things down and they explained it. Like, with, was it Margot Robbie? Robbie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robbie. and then, uh, yeah. Selena Gomez, and I forgot who was the other one. The, the PhD professor, too. Yeah, they had uh, a the, bunch of people. I thought that was hilarious. Yeah, they just, like, did that cutaway scene to have it explained down in, like, a easy way. I think they, ra- they raised the volume of the, their music, too, whenever they have uh, someone explaining it so that the audience knows this is important and to pay attention <laughs> yeah so yeah. it's really easy for anyone to to um, understand the subject matter like I don't I don't know anything about housing if you talk to me about the terms that they use in the film I won't get it but in terms of the film I understood everything yeah they did a good job with that and they, they kept it like light and funny too it wasn't just okay I'm explaining everything now yeah it wasn't just facts and stuff yeah. like they didn't just explain what happened during that crisis. They did pretty well. Um, yeah. They did it in a funny way, which is yeah. what I thought was, was good about it. They added that humor, too. Yeah. What I felt, in, what I what I think of, so whenever I look at the a, a movie, I just tell myself, like, is this forced? Is this, does it break the flow of the film? And I think this movie does, but it's one of those rare exceptions. Like, everyone always says in film, um, show don't tell right but in this movie they do the exact opposite they all, they're always telling so that they can continue to move on with the plot what do you guys think about that those sort of uh, interruptions yeah that, I think that's what I, I liked about it how they explained everything otherwise yeah. you wouldn't have understood yeah cause like, um, they they go off into like a tangent about how this whole thing like with um, the mortgages being like triple A or like A, B or whatever and at first, you're just like, what do these mean to me? Like, yeah, they don't the really... What is that? Yeah, it's like, it doesn't matter to me. But then they go in and they, like, 
break that whole that whole um, structure for a sec and then just go in and say like, all oh, right, so this is how what they actually mean, and it kind of gives you like that. It clarifies it pretty well. So, but that was pretty good. So that way, the viewers aren't really confused and don't just dismiss it as something that's not important. Like if they don't understand it, they don't have to worry about it. Mm. So, thought it was uh, pretty well done though. What threw me for a loop was uh, the fact that I think it's introduced with a. Uh, whoa, whoa, we're getting interrupted here. Oh, barely Pardon. making up. Pardon the interruption. What I thought was a uh, pretty interesting was the fact that uh, the concept and the uh, setting is introduced by the narrator, played by uh, Ryan Gosling. Mm, yeah, that's true. And I thought he was going to, you know, play. Um, like a figure that doesn't really interact with the main cast, he's just gonna explain yeah, it to yeah, us. That's what I I sort of, too. sort of like the Margot Robbie or the Selena Gomez, like they're gonna break it down for us. Yeah. But no, he's introduced later on in the film, which I thought was pretty interesting. And I think there's a lot of rules that they play around with. Oh, yeah, because uh, there'd be times where he breaks the, basically breaks the fourth wall and talks to the audience, and then he just jumps back into like that whole, uh, that whole storyline again. Who is the director? For Actually. It's Adam McKay. I, what else has he done? I don't think. Let's I let's look it up. He has done. He's done Anchorman. Oh, Step Brothers. Hey. This guy's a legend. Yeah, Talladega Night. Damn. Damn. This is. I I haven't oh, seen. Oh, man. This guy's on fire. He's doing it all. We're looking up his IMDb page. Damn. Step Brothers seems like his uh. His magnum opus. Yeah. He's on pre-production for a TV movie, apparently. Man, this guy's does SNL. Oh, shorts. the landlord. Did you you guys know about that? Where? No. That's like the one where with Will Ferrell, right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And like uh, the little kid. I thought that was hilarious when I first saw it. Really, I haven't I haven't yeah. seen it. Very interesting. We did not know that. Yeah, I didn't know this that. Guy, this guy's doing it all. He's doing well. Yeah, so let's talk about the editing and pace of the film. We already kind of uh, brought this up, but it's... Um, fast pace. Very fast pace. Yeah. You guys ever find that distracting at all? Uh, Not in this film, because I felt like that's what it's about, like the whole... The holy, um, the crash, right? Yeah, Just the being whole thing. Everything happened too. so fast. I think it's kind of conceptual in a way that they made it fast, especially their lives. Like that, the Steve Carell character, everything he has has to be fast for him, you know. Right. I thought that. I when I think about fast editing. I think it's like a, it's a tricky it's a tricky thing because sometimes it just feels too forced. Like sometimes, like when I was watching. Moulin Rouge, I remember I was I just kind of was getting bored of it. Not yeah. bored, but I was getting I kind of annoyed that it just kept cutting, cutting, yeah, cutting. Yeah, I hated that. Mm. So, like, I would just, like, as, as a game I play every time I watch a movie, I'll just, I sometimes count how long each, each, uh, how many each cuts scene, there? Yeah, yeah, I'll count how long it is. And I think yeah. the longest in that movie was, like, 14 seconds is what I got. Oh, Jesus. Really? Yeah, yeah it was kind of... Wow. Um, Yeah. I didn't do it for this movie because I did, I was kind of sucked in the whole time. I wanted to really know what was going on, so I think mm. that's a that's a sign of good filmmaking there. What do you think, Brian? With the pacing, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I got really um, I was really focused into this one, so I didn't really notice much of it. So it was just like being absorbed by the movie, because most of the time it's like. If the movie is in, is too slow or too fast, it's like you can get kind of distracted with it to the point where you just lose attention every once in a while. But with this one, it was like full attention. So, full attention. Full yeah, time. so it was uh, it was pretty well done with its pacing. So I think we're all fans. Yeah, yeah I liked it a lot. It's great. So um, I think our the first podcast we did American Psycho, right? Yeah. And we're back. We're back, yes. to, we're back to bail. Back to the bail. Back, back to, to the bail. bail. What do we think of an older bail here? He's brilliant. He's brilliant, brilliant, dude. Again, yeah. It's pretty well done. I think his work was pretty good in this. I looked up a, a clip of the guy he plays. I think it's, um, was it Barry? 
His last name is uh, Barry. Yeah, yeah, something like that. I'm looking it up. Do, 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 do. Michael Burry. Sorry. Burry. Oh, oh, close. Close enough. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he he acts just he can he does like a, a pretty good impression of him. It's not a, it's not spot on. He kind of does his own take. And I thought a lot of the characters they uh, they all like to exaggerate their points, which makes it easier for the audience to understand. Whereas Christian Bale is very um, calculating, very quiet, kind of a reserved guy. He just kind of mm-hmm. sticks to his headphones and listens to Metallica. If you listen, if you watch that first scene, all the bankers he, that are the, the first time he goes to banks. This the, uh, the all of the bankers are uh, are just a, juxtaposed to him. So like there was one, um, I think the first one there was a lady. And there was oh, a dude, and the right? Dude? There was uh, three dudes in the Indian? two dudes in the office, um, but the one that made the yeah, initial yeah. deal was the lady and, and the. And they seem really dude. cocky. They seem really arrogant. Yeah, they seem because uh, they uh, they told them that every time every year they'd have to charge them some sort of price for holding those. Yeah, like a premium. Yeah, that premium, and so they felt kind of cocky because uh, he was willing to pay that premium, and they were sure that the the market wasn't gonna crash. So they were just uh they just thought that he was gonna keep paying a premium until he he kind of run out like but he made money yeah uh, same thing with Steve Carell he's really he's really contrasted with all the bankers and big business businessmen he um, confronts he's just a really angry dude and really um, pessimistic just like his whole company is or his whole firm while every other banker is kind of calm and suave and yeah just kind of. Uh, mm-hmm. Jerks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, he is kind of like a jerk too. I think he's a he's a he's an every man he's an everyday sort of jerk where he just kind of he's he's we all know that that one guy is really angry all the time and he just kind of makes a scene for everything. But I but they they do they make an effort to show that he is a likable guy. Yeah. With, and they keep bringing up his brother's death. Yeah. That and, and the fact that he always um. I think it was when during that there was a scene where he was talking to another banker about the whole uh, the way that they run the policies too, and it made him seem more um, likable by the fact that he doesn't just like do it for the money. He actually has that kind of thing where um, where was it? He would get mad at people that um, that were fake or doing all this other like bullshit stuff. So, what do we think about a, such a star-studded cast? Are they like? Do they handle everything well? Are some characters off to the side? Uh, or balanced? I feel like it was really balanced. I don't think any one character really took over and just dominated. I think it was really well balanced. And I'm surprised because I expected it to like have one... Because usually in big films with like a, a massive uh, cast with a bunch of A-listers... It doesn't work out well because one of them always has to be, you know, better than the other, usually. Um, but they did a good job. I liked it. It was pretty good. I think the the Brad Kick, Brad Pitt character, he's off to the side, but it, it's for it's for a reason. Mm-hmm. Where he yeah. doesn't want to be interested in yeah. in the whole scenario at all. So yeah. Uh, Let's uh let's, let's compare it to something like Zodiac. It doesn't have as many A list stars, but it does have it does have a big the big three, right? It was mm-hmm. it's Downey, it's Downey, Joan Hall, and Ruffle, and yeah. each one gets like their own kind of arc. Right? Yeah, like the first half is uh the the first act would say is like yeah, the, the, would be uh Downey, second is Ruffle, and then third finally goes back to Joan Hall. So that, yeah, obviously in here they just kind of uh, intermix between everything. Yeah, because there still are like three. Um, three groups that we focus on. Right. They just so, kind of interact. Yeah. Except it, probably the Bale character doesn't interact. No, the much. Bale character is more, um, it's, it's, he's more, like, reserved. He's too metal. He's too metal. To do yeah, he's with, <laughs> uh, he's with, the, like, he's focused on himself. But, uh, yeah, so it's like, we have that Bale, then we have, uh, Gosling and his, like, with, uh, Steve Carell, them in there. And then we have that third group with, uh, those, uh, Two guys that were basically doing, uh, were doing it in like their basement and just show up to, or it was their garage or something like that. Yeah, I think it was so, their garage. Yeah. Or something. yeah, it was a nice garage. It was really big. Yeah, reminds you of my garage sometimes. You know. Yeah, we're in his garage. It's, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. We should come over. 
<laughs> yeah, it's nice. Wow, the party. He has uh, he has snacks here. He has a pool, but he's never invited us to a pool party yet. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Dang. But he has snacks for you guys. He's, he's got, got lots some of water snacks. He's got water. He has the water. Do you have snacks for us today? No, not for you guys. Dang. It's for the for the you know the viewers. What about us? I don't know about that. I, I watched the show too. <laughs> well, no, you. Don't he's have, a viewer. You're not really. Eh. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I'll take it out of your budget. How's that? I am the budget. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it out of your budget. That's fine. <laughs> Any closing thoughts? Um. Hmm. I don't know. It's a good movie. Solid picture. Would recommend. Yeah. Good oh, movie. Would, would you recommend. Rate this? What would you guys rate? This? Oh, rating, 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 dude. dude. Oh. I think we should do letter grades because letter grades are different than numbers. I feel like numbers can be skewed. All right. So yeah, it's like the letter. And numbers is are... there pluses and minuses? Oh yeah, you can do. Do they affect your GPA? Like the, the B is just a three point or is it like a B minus B plus? Like... I, I think nah, it's should... a B is a B. A B is like... I think you can do a B minus. Like... B minuses are more like not that. Isn't that like a two point seven or something? Yeah. Let's say like that's, that's hurtful. Let's say like B plus or like A plus is like really liked it. A is like liked it. And I think a, I, I don't think there's a any. minus is like yeah. Eh. All right, so what do you what would you rate it, Isaac? I would give this Professor movie, Isaac. I would give this movie a B plus. Definitely, really strong film. I liked it. Mm-hmm. I don't know that it's gonna be like one of my favorite movies down the line, but I I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Did you rewatch it for this? I did rewatch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I liked it like. Did you like it more the second time? I liked it a little more the second time, yeah, because I, okay. I I understood everything. It's like, oh, okay, I got this part that maybe I didn't get last time. Mm. What about you, Professor Brian? I was gonna go with B. Oh, it's pretty good, critics. but like, like uh, Isaac was saying, it's not gonna be my top, and I don't <laughs> think I'm gonna like rewatch it yeah, just for fun. Because <laughs> okay. like, if it if it's like. A high, if I were to rate it higher, it would be because I would want to go, like, that's my go-to movie to rewatch when I'm bored. Mm. But, like, this one is just, like, it was pretty good. Good to just watch and have in your arsenal of, like, movies that you watched. Yeah. It's, like... It's a solid B. Yeah, it's a solid like it. B. I would give it an A-. minus. Dang. Whoa, you really like this one. Uh, it's... You know, I'm, I'm I'm kind of a hater. We all know it, but yeah. I do think this 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 movie breaks a lot of conventions. Yeah, and you like mm. that. I like that, and I think I could study off of it. And and like what mm. what what makes oh another interruption, guys. Pardon the interruption. Oh okay, no we're good. We're good. So I think it breaks a lot of conventions, and and because of that, I think it, it's it's innovative. Its editing style doesn't seem to bother me. It's it's use of exposition doesn't seem to bother me. Uh, it doesn't. Nothing really seems to bother me. The narr the narrator doesn't really seem to bother me. He's snarky, but he doesn't seem too in your face. Everything seems genuine. Yeah. In yeah. through, I can tell when they're when they're using uh, Hollywood tropes. I can tell when they're using uh, when they're uh, using contrast to make it easier and simplify it for the audience. But it doesn't bother me. I think it's it's a movie you can study off of. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I'm really surprised I got I gave the highest rating. We yeah. should keep giving these ratings. I think it was fun. That was funny. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we haven't we didn't do it for the other ones, so that kind hey, of. Hey, what do we give Zodiac? I give Zodiac an A minus, definitely. I was gonna go B plus. I was gonna go B plus. Wow, really? Yeah. I like Zodiac a lot, though. I I watch I, I like watching the movie. I, yeah, I like them uh, watching it more than the Big Short, but I think you can learn a lot from from the Big Short. I see that. what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, for him, yeah, that that makes sense. But. As far as just like pure it, enjoyment of the movie, like that movie really sucked me in, and like that, yeah. like that night and nights after, like I was like scared. You're I, was, about like, it? I was like, oh shit, what if some guy just breaks in through my window and like Zodiac? You just box him up, you know? Sock him up. No, yeah, that's um, Zodiac actually kind of like kept but, me thinking. Like if he was a student and like he sucked up to me, like he went office hours, I changed it to an A minus. But like he just gives it to me, he leaves in and out. That's probably a B plus, you know? I guess so. Yeah. It's a good movie. It is a good movie. You could ask me tomorrow. I might say A minus. I'll ask you tomorrow, and we'll see. All right, text me. I'll text All right, you. what about um? You're gonna say like an F. We still have uh. <laughs> He's like, I hated it. Yeah, Why are you bringing yeah, it up? I'm lying. I'm only show up putting up appearances. Um, Spider Man. You guys think of that? Spider Man. I'll give it a C. What? Oh, solid C or C plus? 
I'll give it a solid C. All right, I give that thing a B minus. I was gonna B plus. Yeah. Oh dang! <laughs> I don't know. I Brian just, liked the movie. I liked the movie. Brian liked the I can movie. I can watch it again. It's a fun movie, but I exactly. just I That's don't see I it, it as like a. It was good. It was fun. It was fun. It was a, a light fun movie. It was. Funny. I don't regret paying for it. Yeah, I it don't was a pretty good deal though. It was like yeah. eight bucks. It right? was eight bucks, guys. You got to. I don't know where you guys are living. Eight bucks is pretty good for us. I mean, especially when like a standard movie would cost us like, like twelve or like something. Like thirteen now. And sometimes only the showings are like an IMAX. I would show out like sixteen bucks. Yeah, like, sixteen on, for IMAX. I looked up the time showings and this this wasn't on it. You yeah, guys played yeah. me. I know. It's like you show up. He's like, yeah, that's sixteen bucks. And you're like, wait, wait, wait. But you know what? You gotta support. You know the filmmakers. So. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Get that's money. why we don't pirate it. <laughs> we, go, <laughs> we don't buy it off of like the corner, like some dude with a DVD. <laughs> We actually Dude, go. My, I think my mom still does that. I asked her if I ever made a movie, would you buy it? And she's like, no, nah, I'll just get my guy and pirate it. Like, <laughs> Jesus. Come on. Well, what about American Psycho? support local business, dude. What about American Psycho? American what would you Psycho, give that? I'll give it a B plus. All right. What would you give it? A B plus. I got, uh, dang, this is weird, A minus. Whoa. I really like that movie. I like Bale. He was half naked. He's killing bitches. <laughs> yeah. Because... It was, it was really... It was intense. It was a good one. I think it's really fun. I think you can study off that one a lot, too. It's just mood and atmosphere and narrative. I think that's another one that plays around with narration a lot, too. That yeah. seems sincere. Yeah, definitely. Really fun. So those are our ratings. We should implement all those. We should implement those for the future. I think Isaac gets next pick, so look out for that. Isaac's got it's a pretty, pretty good mind, pretty good eye for movies. Um, it's I'm gonna a be good. Blind up. though. So. What? I know, I'm a little bit blind. He wears glasses. So I don't know. But it works. Trust my judgment. Um. So this is episode is gonna be released on Wednesday. Hopefully, um, we we are still trying to work out our schedule. We'll we'll come back. Don't worry, guys. Well, at least it's do once a week for once, sure. Once so. once a week. We're Every gonna, week is we're gonna, gonna, gonna be get bigger. The sponsors hit us up. Um, I'm gonna sell out real quick. We're gonna sell out real quick. As soon as we get word of it, doom. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I heard Joe Rogan's making real money off talking. I I need to do that too. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna do that. Uh, social media is coming soon. I know I keep saying that, but it really will come out. And uh, stay tuned for our future projects. This has been rolling the film. And uh, what do we say when we when we end the episode? Cut. Cut. <laughs> Cut, guys. We'll see you later. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate all of you.